The world has a vast majority of different types of rocks in many shapes and sizes. But have you ever thought, are any of them valuable? And or what make up a rock? What kind of minerals make up rocks? And how do you identify them? Is that shiny pebble a precious gemstone or just a plain old rock? There's a world of difference between a piece of quartz and a diamond, and yet to the untrained eye, they might seem pretty similar. Today, Nautical Outdoors will take you into the sort of fascinating world of rock identification, discovering the secrets that help distinguish between common stones and rare gems. First off, let's start by examining the rock's color. While it may seem a basic characteristic, color can provide crucial clues to a rock's identity. For instance, coal is always black, while limestone can be white, gray, or even pink. However, remember that color alone is not a definitive identifier, as several factors like weathering and impurities can alter a rock's color. Next, consider the rock's luster, or the way it reflects light. Is it shiny like a metal, or does it have a dull, non-reflective surface? Metallic rocks, such as pyrite, also known as fool's gold, have a shiny, metal-like appearance. On the other hand, non-metallic rocks like quartz have a vitreous or glass-like luster. Hardness is another key factor to identify a rock. This measure refers to a rock's resistance to being scratched. The Moos scale of hardness, named after German mineralogist Friedrich Moos, ranks minerals from 1, softest, to 10, hardest. For example, talc used in baby powder is the softest mineral, while diamonds are the hardest known substance. The rock's structure can also provide important information. Is it grainy or smooth? Does it have layers or is it solid? Sedimentary rocks, such as sandstone or shale, typically have a layered structure, while igneous rocks like granite are more solid and granular. Now, take a closer look at the rock streak. This refers to the color of the powdered mineral, which you can observe by rubbing the rock against a porcelain plate, also known as a streak plate. Some rocks have a streak color that's vastly different from their actual color. For instance, hematite, despite being silver gray, leaves a reddish-brown streak. Finally, remember to consider the rock's location. Rocks found near water bodies may be different from those found in desert areas or high mountain ranges. This is because the environment plays a significant role in the formation and types of rocks present. In conclusion, identifying rocks involves examining a variety of characteristics, including color, luster, hardness, structure, streak, and location. Although it might seem daunting at first, with a little practice, anyone can begin to recognize different types of rocks and minerals. So, the next time you come across an intriguing stone or just weird-looking rock during your nature explorations, you'll be well-equipped to identify it. Happy rock hunting!